What's going on guys, it's Alex here. So today I wanna to do a quick video and show you my current sharpening setup. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that several months ago I got a bunch of new sharpening stones and I had a lot of questions about what I'm currently using. So I figured I'd make a quick video and show you. I've used all kinds of sharpening stones and it comes down to basically two stones. And I really do think that you need two stones um, when we're talking about a complete sharpening setup. And this setup here is definitely gonna get the job done and uh, give you some crazy good edges. So let me bring you in here real quick and I'll show you what I've been using. So the first stone is going to be a DMT extra coarse diamond stone. Now I think any sharpening system needs to have a coarse or an extra coarse stone uh, for reprofiling and establishing that initial apex. It is really difficult to apex a knife off of a stone that's not coarse enough. I think that I would recommend the extra coarse over the coarse simply because when you get these things, they have what they call a break-in period. And the break-in period basically means that the top layer of diamonds comes off and you're left with a slightly less abrasive surface underneath of it. And that slightly less abrasive surface is what uh, basically lasts the entire uh, life of the stone stone. Um, the only thing that I don't really like about diamond stones is they wear out quick. I don't care what anybody says. Um, these things have a tendency of wearing out pretty quick, um, especially compared to some other types of stones um, like ceramic stones, which basically last forever. But you can't get ceramic stones in this type of a grit or this nice extra coarse grit. And even with this being an extra coarse, you can get some really good edges off of this one stone. Now these are kind of pricey. I don't know exactly off the top of my head what these things are running now, but if you don't want to spend the money on a diamond stone, you can get some cheaper um, aluminum oxide stones, which will do the job uh, just the same. You can buy aluminum oxide stones for around $12 a stone um, in a super coarse grit, and they will also put profile and do all the work that this will do for about $12. $12. The only problem with the aluminum oxide stones is that they dish out super fast, especially in the coarser grits. Um, coarse grits don't last a long time. Doesn't matter the brand of stone. Um, a coarse 220 grit stone wears out and it dishes. So you're gonna have to flatten it periodically. And if you have a knife that's in really bad shape, uh, you might even have to flatten the stone in the middle of sharpening, which is not a whole lot of fun. This diamond stone here is gonna stay nice and flat for you, which is definitely a huge advantage. So the next stone that I've been using a heck of a lot is the Spyderco Ceramic Medium Stone. I absolutely love this thing. It is my go-to stone when I'm just touching stuff up. Now, if you were gonna buy one stone, if you could only buy one stone, um, what would it be? Honestly, I'd have to say this uh, Spyderco Medium Ceramic Stone. This thing will last probably your lifetime. You'll get a tremendous value out of it. It will also cut any steel, and given enough time, you can reprofile on this stone. I've done it before in other videos. It takes a lot of time, but it can be done. This stone actually cuts fairly well. Um, and I think the biggest downside, definitely dirty, the biggest downside of this stone is the fact that it can be kind of difficult to clean. My camera focused here, what's going on? But anyway, you can kind of see where it's uh, loaded up there. Um, that's really not that big a deal. If you use uh, some type of cutting fluid like Windex or water with this, um, you can use this dry too. And when using it dry, a lot of times what'll happen is the metal will just kind of come off on its own. It'll flake off and turn into metal dust and go wherever metal dust goes. But honestly, I haven't really paid that much attention to keeping it super clean. It's just one of those things that tends to work itself out. Um, it still cuts fairly well. I and mean, I've used this on all kinds of different steel, um, ZDP 189, S30V, uh, S90V, S110V. It cuts all those steels no problem. These are the two stones that I use the majority of the time. And the reason for this is because they're just so easy to use. I can pull this out, sharpen on it completely dry if I want to. If I have a lot of sharpening to do, I'll sharpen wet on both of them. But most of the time I just use both of these completely dry and they're just kind of uh, maintenance free, sharpen and forget stones. Again, if I was a beginner, these are the two stones that I would buy over all of the other stones. So let's move on to the strop. The strop that I currently use the most is just my DIY strop I made in a previous video. It is loaded with simple green compounds. Here is what is left of my bar. I keep one bar down here and one up at the house. I will put a link to this bar and all the other stuff in the description. There's really not a lot to say about this drop other than I like using the rough side. Um, it has a smooth side, but most of the time I just use the rough side and uh, it needs to be 
it needs to be cleaned it's loaded up a little bit and if you're wondering how to clean a strap i also have a video on that as well now the only other strap that i occasionally use is this little tiny piece of leather here and it is covered in a dmt diamond paste this stuff this is a dmt diamond spray uh, it's half micron i'd recommend uh, one micron or half micron either one will give you pretty good uh, results and the only time that i really uh, use this is on some of the uh, higher carbide steels like s110v um, and s90v this uh, i think really makes a difference in your final edge even off of fairly coarse stones like the uh, Spyderco medium ceramic or the DMT extra coarse. This is the only other strap that I use. Uh, and between these four items right here, this is my current setup. This is what I use 99.9% .9 of the time. If I do want to go um, any higher in grit, um, I will use the, um, the other two Spyderco ceramic stones. The, uh, the fine and the ultra fine. And the, those two stones and a strop will give you a pretty good mirror polish. Here's the old paper towel trick that everybody loves so much. So that is my current setup, the setup that I'm using uh, right now. And it's a setup that I would highly recommend for anybody looking to get into sharpening. This is gonna be a really good starting place for you. Um, you can have all of this for around a hundred bucks, um, especially if you make the strap yourself. So that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, ask me in the comments below. And my camera shut off. <laughs>